recording? Are you recording? That gives me a fucking hard on. Here everything is soft and smooth. Okay, you had a balance of 93 cents. <laughs> <laughs> That is epic. That is groundbreaking. That is goat like behavior. This was about me following my heart. It was about me trying to find love for me. And in the end, you know, I get nothing. Oh my god! Alright lads, so today we're going to be jumping into a card that I think looks pretty crazy, especially for his prize, right? It's very, this is a cheeky player if there ever were a cheeky player. I'm not going to lie to you boys and girls, the plan for today was to review Alex Tyxera. His team of season looks absolutely cracked. Like, it's crazy that that card even exists. However, I kind of underestimated his price. Uh, I thought he wouldn't be that expensive, and he's he's quite a lot, so I, I couldn't afford him in the end, which is really annoying because I literally, like, his card is perfect. There's literally not, it's disgusting that that card exists. If I get him from red picks, I might have to pick him. Not if Immobile's there. If Immobile's there, and Tyxair is there, we, we're picking Immobile still. Like, he's still definitely getting picked. But if Ronaldo's here, and Tyke's is here, then I might have to pick Tyke's error. Enough from the clown! But yeah, I couldn't afford him, boys and girls, so we did end up picking Illicic. That I don't think is a bad card. Like, this is not a bad alternative. And this card, for again, his price of 100k is ridiculous. So, lads, we've put him in a team, okay? And uh, you might recognize this team a little bit. Uh, this is the team that I was talking about in the last episode. Now, I would call this a cheeky team, lads. Um, but there's a certain someone that's just taking the cheekiness down a notch. But we have to do this, lads, because if I want Immobile and Boutra and Griezmann all in the same team, playing a 4-1-2 formation, unless there's a right mid that can defend and play centre mid, I, I literally have to play an off-chem player here if I want Immobile. So for now, we are going to be using an off-chem Anselmo, which, believe me, boys, all right, I know, I, I, I'm i crying too, all right, I'm crying inside. But sometimes, boys, you, you, you have to do things in life, you have to... You have to suck it up. You just, you gotta do it. But off cam and Selmo aside, lads, I think this is a very nice team, okay? Defensively, it, it really cannot get much better than this, all right? Edda Militao, uh, he's got a crazy card. You've got Varane, obviously, is good. Tostegan, one of the best goalkeepers. you got Reguilon, uh, just an incredible card. And you got a, a just beautiful midfield. And when we do pick up a Mobile or get him from our rewards, uh, yeah, that front three is fucking mental, all right? Griezmann, Boutren in a Mobile. The goal scoring abilities on those three, it's gonna be absolutely crazy in a weekend league. Oh yes. But for now we will use Illicic lads. Let's quickly jump into these in-games, alright? If you haven't seen this card, just strap yourself in. It is, it's a nutty card. So we start off good boys, okay? Four star weak foot and four star skill moves. A, a fantastic start. He is six foot three, which is a little bit scary because, uh, you know, he might not feel that good on a ball because of his height. His pace has been upgraded significantly from his previous special cards. Uh, the cards that look really good, but just aren't the craziest pace wise. But 89 pace is really good. So there's no reason that you can't use this card now. Shooting, uh, holy fuck, all right? 93 finishing, 99 shot power, 99 long shots, 95 attack positioning as well. You're going to make me act up. <laughs> you don't make me do something, I'm more regret. Like I was saying, the dribbling is really good, all right? There's some really good dribbling stats here. Uh, however, probably the two most crucial ones uh, aren't aren't here. Which isn't which isn't great. So six foot three combined with only 81 agility and 70 balance. Ah, uh, that's a little bit that's a little bit frightening. Um I this card has got Hunter on it, and I uh I, I bought him like that. I would probably advise an engine chem style here. And then finally, physically, he's got really good strength and really good stamina. Not the craziest aggression, but you know, 91 strength is pretty fucking good. Oh, and he also has finesse shot trade. Wow! So boys, I'm not gonna waste any time again. We jump straight into a couple of games with this Illicit. I am very much looking forward to this because he looks pretty fucking good, alright? He looks pretty pretty clean and I'm gonna be banging some long shots I think with this card. I think we will also play him as a striker uh, in this episode. I just, I, I feel like I want to test his pace to see if it's a problem with the low agility and stuff and I feel like the best place for that will be striker. So boys, let's jump into game number one. Lovely. Hey Ilicic, left foot finesse. 
Oh, Illisage! Trying to start off with a banger, are we? Okay, we need hold the fuck. Okay, hold on. What the fuck? Hold up, wait a minute. What the fuck? Oh, okay, excuse me? Oh, fuck. Come on, Michelle. Come on, it's- Please. Oh, it's been- Boys, how long's it been for a clean sheet dance? Like, for real. I- I just- I've conceded a lot of goals lately. It's not- it's not good, man. It's- I gotta- I gotta sort this shit out. That's Elmo. See you, Veron. Can he bang one? Oh my god! Is this the day of finesse shot or something? What is going on right now? I mean, it's Veron. I don't know why I'm acting so surprised. This is just like a day at the office for him. I've been carrying the squad for two years. Veron? Play Elisic? That's not Elisic. What? Boutro near post. Oh, what a finish. Elisic's doing There's some nice footwork here. Elisic's doing bits here. That's lovely. Cruz? Oh, the shooting is perfection right now. Honestly, like, usually I'm hitting the post like fucking 50 times a game. 80 rebounds conceded. Varane, come on, lad. Ah, oh, fuck. No, that Thomas the Scott. What? What the fuck? I mean, defensively, oh, wow. Nice, Illicit. They really don't know. He's using that newfound I'm pace. He feels pretty oh, fucking quick if you ask me. Can he finish? Oh, the save. Good, the one two. Playing back. No, what? Nice. Illicit round two. Oh my god, it, oh, it's that shooting, man. That finesse shot of his is deadly as fuck. Overall, lads, uh, I really enjoyed Illicit. I thought he was really, really good. Like, his shooting, especially those finesse shots, disgusting. This guy can certainly hit them, all right? Just almost identical to Veron shooting outside the box. Those finesse shots are just nasty. He felt very decent on the ball. He wasn't agile by any means, but his dribbling and, like, ball control and stuff was all very nice, and he did go for a couple of decent little runs. Pace feels pretty good as well. I don't feel like he feels slow at all. He feels very quick with that Hunter card. The only criticism I will say with this Illicic card, at least as a striker, is he doesn't make too many runs, and I do like my strikers to get in behind uh, as much as possible. He didn't really do that, and I think a lot of that that comes down to the medium high work, uh, not the medium high, the, the medium medium work rate, sorry. And for that reason, I feel like his best position is definitely a cam. You know, if he, he, he's definitely a, a sniper on the edge of the box, just just letting him stay there, not making too many runs, and just hitting those finesse shots. So, striker, very good there, but I definitely feel like this card is best utilized as a cam. For that reason, lads, I will play him as a cam in this next game. I know I said I want to use him as a striker, but I feel like I need to see, his, see him as a cam now, because I, I just can, I think he's going to be really good there. I, I honestly think he'll be the, like the perfect cam for me because uh, I, I just love a good long shot so uh, just having him there sat on the edge of the box just waiting we, you know you run it down the wing or whatever and you drop it back to Illicic and he just thunder cunts it in the t into the top corner like that is my kind of cam right there but he's still very usable as a striker don't get me wrong he's very good but he just didn't make the craziest runs you know like Butra was so hopefully you can get a couple more goals with Illicic in the next game lads so let's jump to game number two right what a pass to Gr that's a glorious pass. Griezmann, Finesse. That's a foul! Oh, no, this don't let me down. Lovely pen. Good good job. Nice. Illicic. God, he's very quick. He's surprisingly quick, actually. Nice. Yes! Yes, boys! Yes! No, no! Well, clean sheet dance over. I need to go into a... Why am I getting dabbed on? Why are you dabbing on me? I, I, I'm I, depressed already about the clean sheet dance and you rub it in with a dab. Okay. Oh, this is absolutely the most bullshit! Fuck you! No, I'm not having it. He dabs on me again when it's the shittiest, 80th goal. Fuck you! Just relax. Just relax and play the game. Sexy. Play. Play for on. For on. Oh, that is. He's offside. No. How are we going to deny Veron that disgusting finish? Lovely footwork from Veron. For I don't even know how he's got it. What a pass. Illicic. Come on, dude. Oh, I want to beat this guy so bad for those dabs. Oh, shit. Don't eat. I hate when it happens! Dab, just dab on me. Do it. Do it. I, I, I... 
This, this is the what? It's just the worst game, man. What is that goal? I am going to commit suicide. Cruz. Oh, look at that. A lovely fucking goal from Cruz. Come on. Wait. Nice play, Griezmann. Good, Ilicic. Great pass. Grizu! Yes! How? Come on. Last chance. I can't let this guy get away with this. I can't let him get away with it. He's getting away with it. He's getting away with those dabs. He's going to get away with it. Fuck. Get it. Get the ball. Don't blow. Don't blow. I hate life. So overall, lads, I have to say with this Ilicic, uh, I'm a little bit mixed with him uh, in terms of some, some of the aspects of the card. When Ilicic has got the ball at his feet, I love everything about him. I love his dribbling, I love his pace, I love his shooting. I really like the card on the ball. But off the ball, I, I, I really did not like this card's positioning at all. When I played him as a striker, he was playing as a cam, which I didn't mind because, you know, that's fine. He's playing as a cam, like, that's good. But I thought then that when I put him as a cam, he'd be the perfect cam. But he basically turned into a centre mid. He, 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 it's just like he played really deep. And I've got stay forward on him, so I don't know why he did that. So that was that was a really frustrating card because if he if he was in good positions or the positions I wanted in him, uh, then I would have fucking loved this card. And as a result, he just didn't get as many chances I, as I would have liked as a cam because he was literally playing as a centre mid. Veron was playing as more of a cam than Ilicic. And I know Veron likes to attack, but come on, like you, what are you, what are you doing with your life? So I'm really irritated to say that I'm a little bit mixed on this Ilicic. That I just I thought his positioning was was really fucking stupid he wasn't playing in, in his, his position when i played him as a striker he played as a cam when he played as a cam he plays the center mid if i played him as a center mid he'd be a fucking right back so uh i have to say I, I don't really approve of that but like i said i really like this card shooting i really like this card dribbling and i really like his pace i didn't feel like he felt too stiff he didn't feel like agile but he he wasn't too bad on the ball like in terms of his agility i just really liked him when he had the ball it's just getting him in a position to create shit uh and that was frustrating if you were to play this card as a striker and it didn't bother you that he was a bit more deeper as a striker then then I could probably recommend him but if not if you wanted him as a cam uh, and you wanted him to actually play as a cam and not centre mid uh, I, don't, I, I can't recommend him because uh, his positioning was terrible anyway let's I will conclude things I hope you did enjoy if you did smash that subscribe I'll see you guys next one alright peace